today as we have already completed this sticky navbar with the help of intersection api observer right now what our next is to make it pop up window for contact us form right mm -hmm. for new for that i need to create one html form mm -hmm. and um, you know some css mm -hmm. and javascript so maybe it, it's gonna be one or two or three videos okay so let's do it stay tuned and be with us okay let's start first i want to do is to just make a section right here down that pop up right this has become one pop up for us so it will be container in that container what we need to do is to just give some heading or header right okay and another one is content okay mm. you understand mm. okay so let's start it copy going to the style one here's i'll make will be 100 percent as you know this is not very hard height should be 100 um, 100 bh bh okay for now i'm going to give him that uh, background something gray so that we can find out okay let's see do we have something downside we don't have right why we don't have because we need to save this also and then we can find out yeah mm -hmm. Okay, this this is the area we have for now. Mm. Okay, in that what we are having is hair, right? Hair. So let's take uh, times time. Okay, and in this we need to add some forms, right? Submit forms, for example. First, I'll make it display as a flex. Okay. I don't know already what is what flex does it. Mm. Yeah, if I do it, it comes in. It comes one by one. Okay, now justify content to the center. Center. Align item to the center. Center. So to make that all to the center. Okay, it's already there in the center. But the thing what I need to do is to just there flex directions column. You know, flex direction column. What does it mean? Okay. That's it. What, what is the other flex direction column? Flex direction. Mm. By default, it's row. Okay. Now I made it column. Okay. So before it was one by one. Yeah. Now it become one after one. Okay. Yep. Mm. Done. Mm. What next is header? We have already header. So we need to change it. Uh, pop up header. Okay. 
Oh, oh. Okay. Mm. I'm going to do the same thing here in the CSS pop up header. With how much? And now let's say it's for 50%, okay? And not height, height is not required. We can give padding from top to bottom 20 pixel, left to right 10 pixel, okay? Now I'm giving red if it's working or not. Let's check. It's not somewhat not working because pop up header, pop up header, right? This is the class name. This is the class name. I did not save, that's why it's not working. Okay, done. Okay. You understand what I'm doing? Mm. So as I made it red, make it white. Okay, and the thing is, see, this is the cross button. Okay, okay. This is the cross button. That mm. is not good. Mm. What I need to do is to keep it here, right? The last. What I need to do is to add one more here for the heading. So we'll go to our HTML page. In our HTML page, I will add one more. So first, uh, cut it. Span tag with uh, contact us contact form, for example. And another is pain span tag paste for the cross button you can see here we have this two contact form and uh, cross button for that we need to style and it is here first i will make it display as a flex flex box and then again justify content to the space between i know you must be familiar with this if not then it will take a space between with the both of this elements so you can see this is there but one thing i can see that is not in the center so for the making it center i can go there for the line item to the center this is the best way to do center see all is center okay next is to <coughs> style up, um this content okay so i'll go again making content uh, it will be approximately similar to this so i will just copy this and 50% I want height let for now height uh, 30 pixel 300 pixel uh, later I'll remove it I'll tell you why I'm doing this okay so here we have uh, oh. okay so this is that uh, the corner adds up that I don't want I want it to be the border radius of border radius of uh, you know 10 pixel from the top left 10 pixel from the right uh, and top right and 0 from the right bottom 0 from the left bottom okay so you can see here it has been changed and same opposite for content I will do this to the large so that I can make it for the down down one for the footer kind of things so see here it has become but uh, there is no gap between the header and the content so let's do for example, I'm making that box shadow one pixel, sorry, zero pixel, one pixel, ten pixel, two pixel, and black. Okay, let's see if it is working. Yeah, it's working, but it is back side to make it front. I need to give it the G index, G index one, so it will come up. Okay, similar, I will give to that. Uh, content as well you can see now it's looking good let's style this uh, all submit form okay here I have uh, the group first I will do the form making 100% form and width is 100% that's it and then input groups Okay, input group. I'm going here, not here. Outside of base input group. Okay, and uh, input group should be the. You know, this must be also the display flex. And uh, let's see. Okay, display flex. Justify content to the stretch. 
and <coughs> align item to the center again input doing attribute selection hope you are familiar with that and text okay with which make it 70 percent okay let's see if it's working yeah space between make it space between yeah that is great and uh, now I will give that padding of 10 pixel so that it can be a little bit bigger oh great and uh, margin of 5 pixel from a break top bottom okay 5 pixel see that's great and then I, I need to give this um, you can see here um, we are almost done next what we need to do is to make it uh, make the submit button so I'm not uh, focusing on the styling more this will be the simple okay so dot input group and there's a button and the weights I will give some not font size of 30 pixel background um can we give info here no we can't background green and then border i will give that uh, border radius radius 10 pixel from everywhere and border none i don't want any border i don't want any outline same thing i want in this also okay but the uh, border outline is there already and uh, the padding I'll give from the bottom 10 pixel right left 40 pixel to make it a little bit bigger yeah okay now the yeah, also border um, do we need to give the border radius? no I don't need okay so we are almost uh, done with I think it's not good so let's take some color palettes background of change this okay but still border is there that I don't want okay I should make it none I did not as none okay so it's there but I need to give the background yeah um, leave the border for some time because you can find out Okay, so you can see it's all working. <coughs> so in the next video, I'll make this pop up work with some JavaScript. Okay, so subscribe this channel. Let me make this button to the center as well. First of all, so margin from top 50 pixel and auto to make it center okay and now as we have already uh, de defined that uh, height of that uh, content 300 pixel i will make it auto okay so now see this is okay hope you understand the css and next we'll make this all button works and this uh, this window will appear after clicking in this contact us okay so stay tuned for the next video subscribe my channel so that you can Miss that video?